Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. This week, we're diving into some of the most groundbreaking AI research papers. Get ready to explore cutting-edge advancements in human animation, 3D physics simulations, human motion, cinematic video editing, and more. We'll be breaking down complex concepts into easy-to-understand explanations. So, if you're excited about the latest in artificial intelligence, then stick around because this is your dose of the top AI research papers this week. Paper number 1, Dress, 1-3, to three, From Single Image to Simulation-Ready 3D Garments. Today, we're diving into a super cool research paper that's pushing the boundaries of 3D garment creation. Dress, 1-3, to three, Single Image to Simulation-Ready 3D Outfit with Diffusion Prior and Differentiable Physics. This paper introduces a new method for creating realistic, simulation-ready 3D models of clothing directly from just a single image. What makes this paper truly unique? Well, existing 3D reconstruction methods often fuse everything into one single object, which is not ideal for applications like virtual try-ons where you need the garment to move realistically. Dress 1 to 3 overcomes this by generating garments that are separate from the human model and ready for physics-based simulations. The pipeline starts with a single image of a clothed person. It then uses a pre-trained model to to generate an initial sewing pattern. To get a better sense of the 3D shape of the garment and human, they use another pre-trained model that creates multiple views of the image from different angles. This is very important in understanding the 3D shape. Next, they use a differentiable garment simulator to sew this pattern onto the 3D human model, optimizing the pattern and physical parameters to match the original image. This is the key here, where the shape and physics come together, creating a garment that looks and behaves realistically. The result is a 3D garment model that not only looks like the one in the image but is also physically plausible and can be animated using a physics simulator. The paper also demonstrates additional features like texture generation and human motion generation to create dynamic and realistic demonstrations. The research shows significant improvement in the geometric alignment of the 3D garments and humans with the original images. Paper number 2 Motion Canvas User-Driven Cinematic Shot Design We're exploring a fascinating research paper that's changing how we think about video creation. Motion Canvas Cinematic Shot Design with Controllable Image-to-Video Generation This paper introduces a novel method that lets users design cinematic video shots by controlling both camera and object movements within an image-to-video generation system. System. What makes Motion Canvas unique? Well, traditional image-to-video generation often lacks fine-grained control over motion, making it difficult to achieve specific cinematic effects. Motion Canvas addresses this by enabling users to intuitively specify motion intentions in a scene-aware way. This is achieved by integrating user-driven controls into image-to-video generation models. It allows for the joint control of both camera and object motions within a scene, which is a significant step forward. The method translates these intentions into spatiotemporal motion conditioning signals that a video diffusion model can then use to synthesize animations. The system allows users to manipulate a variety of camera movements, such as trucking, zooming, and orbiting, as well as object motions, both local and global. The key is that this method achieves 3D-aware motion control without needing costly 3D training data. This means that users can create sophisticated shot designs, including complex camera trajectories, and object movements, with greater ease and precision. The paper demonstrates various applications including motion transfer, video editing, and complex trajectories, showcasing the versatility of the approach. Paper number 3, Video Jam, Improving Motion in Video Generation. We're diving into another exciting research paper that's pushing the boundaries of video generation. Video Jam, Joint Appearance Motion Representations for Enhanced Motion Generation in Video Models. This paper introduces a novel framework that significantly improves motion coherence in generated videos by learning a joint appearance motion representation. What makes Video Jam unique? Well, despite recent advancements, many video generation models struggle to capture real-world motion, dynamics, and physics, often prioritizing appearance fidelity over motion coherence. Video Jam tackles this issue head-on by encouraging the model to learn a representation that captures both appearance and motion simultaneously. This is achieved through a two-part framework. During training, the model learns to predict both the generated pixels and their corresponding motion from a single learned representation. Then, during inference, inner guidance is introduced 
which leverages the model's own motion prediction to guide the video generation, ensuring that the motion is consistent and coherent. This framework is designed to be adaptable to any video model without requiring significant changes to the training data or the model itself. The approach is simple yet effective. It extends the model's objective to include motion prediction alongside appearance prediction during training, and then uses the model's own evolving motion prediction to guide video generation at each step. The results are impressive, with VideoJam achieving state-of-the-art performance in motion coherence, and also enhancing the perceived visual quality of the generated videos. The paper shows that motion and appearance are complementary and when integrated effectively, can improve both the visual quality and the coherence of the generated videos. Paper number 4 Edit IQ Automated Cinematic Editing from Static Wide-Angle Videos We're exploring a fascinating research paper that's bringing automation to cinematic editing. Edit IQ, Automated Cinematic Editing of Static Wide-Angle Videos via Dialogue Interpretation and Saliency Cues This paper presents a fully automated framework, named Edit IQ, designed to cinematically edit videos captured from a static, wide-angle, high-resolution camera. What makes Edit IQ unique? Well, instead of relying on manual camera operation or editing, Edit IQ generates multiple virtual camera feeds, or rushes, from a single, static camera source. This is like having a team of cameramen working from a fixed position. The system then assembles these virtual shots using an automated editing algorithm. This algorithm's goal is to show the viewer the most engaging parts of the scene. Edit IQ uses a two-pronged approach to guide the editing process. First, it uses a large language model, LLM, to understand the conversational flow, analyzing the dialogue. Second, it uses visual saliency prediction to identify the most visually interesting parts of the scene. These two elements, dialogue understanding and visual saliency, inform the system's shot selection. The paper formulates cinematic video editing as an energy minimization problem, where cinematic constraints determine shot choices, transitions, and continuity. This means the system isn't just picking random shots, it's making calculated decisions based on cinematic principles, ensuring a smooth and coherent viewing experience. Edit IQ is designed to synthesize an aesthetically and visually compelling representation of the original narrative. The efficacy of Edit IQ was demonstrated through a psychophysical study involving 20 participants on the BBC Old School dataset, as well as 11 theater performance videos. Paper number 5, Motion Lab, a unified approach to human motion. We're excited to talk about a groundbreaking paper called Motion Lab, Unified Human Motion Generation and Editing via the Motion Condition Motion Paradigm. This paper introduces a new way of thinking about human motion, using a framework called Motion Condition Motion or MCM. This paradigm is designed to handle both motion generation and editing within a single, unified system. What makes Motion Lab so unique? Well, it doesn't treat motion generation and editing as separate, isolated tasks. Instead, it uses the MCM paradigm where every motion task is defined by a source motion, a condition, and a target motion. This approach enables the system to perform a wide variety of tasks including text and trajectory-based motion generation and editing, as well as motion style transfer. Motion Lab uses rectified flows to learn the mapping between the source and target motions, guided by specific conditions. This provides a very flexible approach for motion tasks. Motion Lab incorporates several key components. The Motion Flow Transformer enhances conditional generation and editing without the need for task-specific modules. Also, aligned rotational position encoding rope, is used to ensure the time synchronization between the source and target motions. Furthermore, Task-specified instruction modulation and motion curriculum learning contribute to effective multitask learning and knowledge sharing. Motion Lab demonstrates strong generalization capabilities and efficient performance across various motion benchmarks. The system can generate motions from text descriptions such as doing jumping jacks, or a person jumps and spins 180 degrees. It can generate motions based on trajectory conditions, like walking forward and then bending down, or takes deliberate steps, some much larger steps and some much smaller steps, to cross stepping stones. Paper number 6 OmniPhys GS General Physics-Based 3D Dynamic Scene Synthesis We're going to explore a really exciting paper called OmniPhys GS 3D Constitutive Gaussians for General Physics-Based Dynamics Generation. This paper introduces a new framework for synthesizing 3D dynamic scenes that are not only visually appealing, but also physically realistic. This is achieved by modeling objects with what they call constitutive Gaussians, which allows the system to simulate various material properties in a flexible way. What makes OmniPhys GS unique? 
Well, unlike previous methods that often assume all materials belong to a single predefined category, like elasticity, OmniFizz GS can handle complex scenes with multiple, heterogeneous objects. The system represents each 3D object as a collection of constitutive 3D Gaussians, and each Gaussian's material properties are defined by a combination of 12 domain expert submodels such as rubber, metal, honey, and water. This approach greatly increases the flexibility and realism of the simulated dynamics. The framework utilizes a memory-efficient MPM solver for physical constraints, constitutive Gaussians for material modeling, and video score distillation to provide prior knowledge from pre-trained video diffusion models. This results in dynamic simulations that are more general and realistic across a wider range of materials, including elastic, viscoelastic, plastic, and fluid substances, as well as interactions between different materials. The paper demonstrates various examples with single and multiple objects exhibiting different material properties, as well as motion generalization and real-world scenes. For instance, the system can simulate a rubber wolf bouncing, a sand wolf collapsing, or water flowing. Paper number 7 OmniHuman 1, Multimodal Conditioned Human Video Generation. We're diving into a fascinating paper called OmniHuman 1, Rethinking the Scale scaling up of one-stage conditioned human animation models. This paper introduces a new framework, OmniHuman, that can generate incredibly realistic human videos from a single image and motion signals, such as audio, video, or a combination of both. What sets OmniHuman apart is its ability to handle a variety of inputs and generate high-quality results across different scenarios. What makes OmniHuman unique? Well, unlike previous methods that often struggled with limited data, OmniHuman uses a multimodality motion conditioning mixed training strategy. This allows the model to learn from a diverse range of data, which significantly enhances its performance. This framework supports various visual and audio styles and it can generate realistic human videos at any aspect ratio and body proportion, including portrait, half-body, and full-body. OmniHuman excels at handling diverse inputs, such as cartoons, artificial objects, and animals, ensuring that the generated motions match each style's unique features. OmniHuman also improves the handling of gestures, which is a challenge for existing methods, and can produce highly realistic results when people are talking. It also supports various music styles and body poses for singing, even high-pitched songs. The generated video quality is strongly influenced by the quality of the reference image. In addition to audio driving, OmniHuman can also use video driving to mimic specific actions, or combine audio and video to control specific body parts. The images and audios used in the demos are from public sources or generated by models. It is important to note that currently, the project does not offer services or downloads, and there are no official social media accounts for the project, so be cautious of any fraudulent information. That's it for this week's deep dive into AI research. We covered a lot, from generating realistic human videos with OmniHuman 1, to creating physically plausible 3D scenes with OmniFizz GS, and beyond. I hope you found these explanations insightful and inspiring. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe for more content, and let me know in the comments which AI research paper you found the most interesting. See you next time for more exciting explorations in the world of AI.